Each year, hundreds of real New Mexicans team up to bring the Santa Fe folk art market to the land of enchantment. This is the sixth year, and 133 artists will come from all over the world to sell their works, and it's an amazing event. But also, we found out it's changing the world. This weekend, 20,000 people will flock to the Santa Fe International Folk Art Market. Artisans from 46 countries will be there. Each one of these vendors is sponsored, and this market does much more than provide a venue to sell. We regard them as micro-entrepreneurs. They don't even necessarily see themselves that way, but they are small business people. And we provide them with training prior to the market, too, to help them kind of, you know, even do better at the market than they might have otherwise. This is a 15 panel. So if, it's, if it is a 15 panel, it must have 15 sentences. Elizabeth Savanhu is from Zimbabwe. She does something called a narrative applique, and each piece tells a story. Those are the girls. They are also playing netibo. You see, they are sitting on the bench waiting for the teacher to come. The market pays expenses for first-year vendors to come. But this is Elizabeth's third year, and she must pay her own way. She almost didn't get to come, but that's where her friend and market volunteer, Dallas Steele, stepped in. When I realized that she didn't have the resources to come back on her own, I offered to hit up all my friends, <laughs> which I did. And uh, they all came through, and we managed to raise enough money to bring her over again. Like Elizabeth's appliques, the market has many stories to tell. The average annual income for artisans working the market is $750 a year in their country. The average vendor here earns $16,000 during the two-day event. The dollars here have a huge impact. Women in southeastern Pakistan in the Tar Desert took their earnings and created a school for their children, both boys and girls. In Tibet, there's a village that had a well but no one had pipes, you know, into their homes. And with the money from the market, they actually took those pipes and put them in their houses. My family, they are going to school. And some, they are do doing degrees because of folk art market. So I appreciate whatever I get from here. Just an incredible event. The cost is $10, advanced purchase for Saturday, 15 at the gate. Sunday's 5 bucks all day. Kids under 16 are free. Now, there are going to be shuttles to take you, and also the first three runs of the Rail Runner can take you up to the site. For more information, go to folkartmarket.org, or you can call that number, 877-567-7380.